Uh, today our legal term is reverse. It's an action of a higher court in setting aside or revoking a lower court decision. So Mitch, it sort of sounds like it, it speaks for itself. The, the uh, decision was reversed for whatever reason. Well, it's part of an appeal and there's really two outcomes of an appeal. The, uh, the appellate court can affirm the judgment or the conviction in a criminal case or it can reverse the holding of the lower court. So when we see it, it's usually from the Court of Appeals because everything gets appealed to them out of our district court. They're the ones that rule and that then we can appeal to the Supreme Court and if they take it, they don't have to, but if they do, they can then reverse the Court of Appeals. So, and that can go all the way through up to the Colorado the United States Supreme Court. Denver is actually, while I've been in the Denver DA's office, we've taken a couple of cases all the way to the United States Supreme Court, which reversed the Colorado Supreme Court and reversed all the way down to the district court in a decision based on the, on the voluntariness of a statement. Mm -hmm. So you get a ruling from the trial court judge or you'll get a decision by the jury and then it will be appealed and one of the outcomes is it gets reversed and I think that a lot of times people don't understand what that means is we're back at square one the case doesn't go away mm -hmm. we just retry the case if a case gets reversed then if we can we bring it again and we have another trial start all over again due process takes a while sometimes and the wheels of justice kinda grind along it does <laughs> yes